Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome to my art channel. Thank you for being here. I am going to be doing the next in the metallic swipe series. This time, so I've done so far, I've done a minimalist swipe. I've done almost filling the canvas swipe with just a little bit of negative space. This time I want the negative space to be in the center and I want the swipes to come from both sides and kind of twist and meet in the middle. I have it in my head how I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's gonna turn out that way or not, but let's see. Let's paint. All right, hello everyone. I am not ready to move on yet from these, so. I am doing kind of this metallic, little bit of negative space, um, I don't know, series, I guess. And I'm just using really two colors and white and black. And in this one, I think, and I haven't moved on to adding like a pop of color yet, but I think I'm going to do a swipe on this end, swipe on this end, negative space in the middle on this one, and see if I can curve them into each other. The, uh, the curve in the middle, almost like it's twisting, will be the part. So I'm gonna swipe up this way in this one, and this way in this one. And I think I'm gonna start with the black in the center. So check the description below for how I mix my paints for this one. I am using Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam as my swipe. And I'm just using regular acrylic paints, float, US Floetrol and gloss medium varnish for my colors. So it sounds a little bit difficult, but it's actually not that many ingredients. <laughs> So I'm going to start, I, I was debating this one, what I should do here, and I think what I'm going to do is just start with the black in the center and stretch that out because when I get up, oh, that's a lot of black actually, but when I get, when I start pouring from side to side, my swipe I know is going to get a little bit wonky and I want that part to kind of just stay where it is, at least in my head that it works out that way. So I'm just going to stretch this all the way until it stops moving, basically. Get my sides. And I've been scraping my table after each one of these. And I have a really pretty brown color, metallic brown, like espresso color now, which is really cool. It almost looks black, but it's like a brown. Oh, I dripped a little bit of it in there. That's gonna be in this painting now. So I think this part is good. And then I think I'm gonna do one side at a time. So now I'm going to, just that on the side. Might have been a little bit too much. I might have gotten a little too zealous there. But I'm going to do, so what did I say? I was gonna swipe up this way. So I'm gonna pour my colors. I'm gonna start, I always start with the bronze. I call it bronze copper because Creative Inspirations, believe it or not, calls this color bronze. It's the redder color. And their copper is a more muted, it does, it looks like a, like a copper pipe. Um, but then in the other brands, they call this color copper. So I just call it my bronze copper. <laughs> and then I think I'll end with gold. Okay, so see that paint is pushing a little bit into what I already had here, which is totally fine. And I'm going to Pour out my white. I've been just pouring the white onto this, like that. And it saves me a little bit and then I can just kind of run it on along. There we go. 
Okay, here we go. Very slow movement. And what I'm doing is stretching the white over to create the lacing. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't swoosh the way that I wanted to. Okay, I'm gonna have to come in the next one. I keep forgetting what I said. I wanted to come in this way. So maybe I'll swoop this one on around into that. I've already messed up, y'all. Who cares, right? Who cares? I'm having fun. That is all that matters there. All right, so more white down. And then I'm gonna come up. I've, I've, I've lost it again from across and over this way. Okay. Start slow. Ooh, I had a little bit of my black in there. It's gonna carry on through. Okay, that did not work. Oh my gosh, my stomach. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I'm hungry. So I need my smaller spatula, I feel like. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and see if I can get it to touch a little bit later. So now I'm gonna stretch the side out by itself, get it to go over the side down there, and then over Okay, that was kind of, that's what I'm going for. And then I want this to kind of meet there. I'm okay with this corner. I'll touch up that corner with black. And then when I tilt this one, I'll be able to tilt them both and kind of get them together. All right, okay. But I mean, the whole point is that I want negative space in the middle. And that I'm pretty sure I will get. And see, I put that middle down and then this side down and it's already flat. Perfect. All right, so I did the bronze first. So I'm gonna do gold for, okay, so I'm gonna come and layer it the way that I'm gonna swipe. Oh, I can't, but I just couldn't get that flow in my mind. But I got it now. Oh, I think I did the same way the last time. But oh well. Y'all, I have to eat something. My stomach is like going crazy right now. So I'm gonna swipe through and this way on this one. I hope. You can let me know if you tried this technique with these metallics since I started the series. Still figuring out what I'm calling this one. I'm not sure yet. All right. So first swipe over here, slow. Let those cells start to form. kind of meet in the center. And again, I can always add a little bit of paint, drag it along through the center, so I'm not worried about that yet. Okay, let me go one more time. And right up through here, 
trying to start in the colors, not in the black. see what this looks like when I stretch it out and then I'll fiddle 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 with the middle <laughs> y'all how corny was that <laughs> and I didn't even mean to oh okay <laughs> I'm gonna fiddle with the oh my gosh okay all right I'm gonna be quiet now Okay, the one thing that I am worried about is that I didn't quite get over to there, but let's see if I can do it without going off the side. No, couldn't quite get there, but that's okay. That's okay. And then this side over here, see the paint, the weight of the paint started to kind of, hmm, I wonder what I should do with that. What should I do with that? Let me tilt it. Let me spin it around for you. And then I'm going to go back down here first. Bring that back. Up a little bit here and bring that gold off the side. Okay, all right, I'm kind of getting the look that I was going for. I'm gonna swing it back around and tilt back this way now. So back down to this side. It's getting there. It's just really slow to move, which means I have a pretty decent amount of paint on the canvas. Okay, so now I've got it on both sides. Now I'm just gonna take my finger and see if I can kind of, I think actually I may take, ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I may take this and just dip it in the gold and see what that does. Okay, I'm not hating that. I wish you could see the shimmer that is on that. Wow. This one, I'm just going to, maybe I'll do it with the other color. I don't know, because there's not a ton of that other color on there. I just got just a tiny bit. Just a very tiny bit on there. And then I'll touch that with my finger. I like it. Different, different for sure. This is the one that I don't like. I think I'm gonna leave it. 
yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. And I'm sure everyone will let me know what they thought. But yeah, I think I'm going to... I do just feel like this right here, if I just had this kind of going off the edge there, and I really wanted this gold here to kind of continue on along. That's it. I wanted it to look almost, you know how smoke looks when it's kind of billowing and it curls around itself? That's kind of what I was going for. So I'm actually really happy with this. And I am going to show you what it looks like. This one is really interesting to me. I mean, of course, I love the way that this you know, the lacing and the metallics look. But that right there and that little piece that's feathered out, it looks, it's gonna look like, like wispy smoke or something. And then here is over here. Just super interesting. The corners, just everything about it. I really like this one. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like dry. Here it is, the metallics are amazing. And the center, I actually, you know, at first I was like, mm, I don't think the center worked out well, but I do. It looks almost 3D right there. Oh, super. Cool. Well, I hope that maybe this has been giving you some inspiration for different compositions and different techniques. I'm really loving it. I am going to try one with a white base, but I don't think it's going to pop as much as the black base does, but I'm willing to try. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye-bye.